obviously here at Rare. Yeah. First time in a while, but it's good to have you here. First time in uh, too long. Played the game earlier. Yep. Just on the game, I tried to kill you. I think your crew your crew no, rallied no. to your... Uh, My superior gameplay ability played out. That's not the story I remember. <laughs> but I, I think your crew rallied to save you and get in front to make sure that, you know, we can't have our head of Xbox being killed by Rare Studio Head because that would... So what happened? Uh, I, I jumped onto your ship. Yep. I said, where's Phil? Yep. And as I went to find you, Dave McCarthy tried to kill me. Mike Chapman tried to kill me. He's saying try. I try. Well, I, I defeated both of them. And, and then? I defeated Shelley. And then I died. Yep. And I don't know Just... who killed me. <laughs> <laughs> but we had, we had fun. It was, yeah, it was, it was good great. stories. It was so, a lot of fun. You know, what, what, what does it mean to you? Like You've played it a number of times now. Yeah, I'm playing uh, in some of the take-home weekend builds that you push out. Uh, getting to play here at the studio with the team is always fantastic. The energy that you guys have for the product that you're building um, is infectious. And I think just shows not only as I talk to people and see the, the passion people are putting into the game, but also how it shows up in the game itself. And, you know, we see a lot today that people enjoy playing together. And uh, you're building such a, I think, just a magical experience for people to go out on the open seas and have a great time together. Yep. The magic bit that's always, whenever we have people come and play, is just they finish playing and then it's all, hey, did you see me do this? Did you see me jump off the ship? Did you see me fight those skeletons? Yeah. It's just that kind of storytelling moment. But I do think that it's our job, ours as in a team together, is to create something that I can enjoy playing by myself. I can enjoy playing with my friends. I can enjoy playing against my friends. Uh, that sense of minute-to-minute -minute achievement that I have through successfully thwarting your attack on our <laughs> ship, um, but also the long-term achievement. I mean, it's, and I think about the history of Rare and some of the amazing games that have come out of this place. The team has a really great capability of capturing a unique style and humor um, and accessibility yep. to the way a game looks. Uh, and getting the short-term engagement and the long-term engagement right. Um, and I love the fact that we're taking Rare, one of the kind of historic studios in gaming, and you guys are trying to do something new. Creating a new IP, it's always risky. Um, yeah. A ton of fun, but also a ton of challenge. Uh, trying to build a game you've never built before. Absolutely. Uh, in a way that you've never built it before. And I think that's what we should be doing in First Party. I think it's great growth and rare. Uh, and it's fun to be part of it. Yeah, and I, th I think for us, it's, it's you know, building a new IP is hard and building it in a very public way with our community yeah. is, is, it's liberating. But, but I think even having, you know, you know, your support, the support of the Xbox leadership team, just on, you know, Rare setting out to go build a new IP, to go build, you know, something that we want to become a new franchise for first party, I think is, it, it's it's very bold and it's it's something that needs a lot of smarts and efforts and, and commitment to, for us to go do. Yeah, I, mean, I get the team coming back with, we have our new idea about what we would like to go build, something that's uniquely rare, uniquely ours. I always bet on the passion of the team. Yeah, I and think it, that's and it, what shows in the end. And I think for us, you know, building a game in a new way that 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 appeals to lots of different gamers that people will talk about fondly in years to come in the same way they talk about some of Rare's legacy. I think you, you, the team is doing a really amazing job with the way you're bringing the community along the journey. I mean, things you do like this, your kind of blogs that you post. Games are one of the few art forms out there where you can bring the community along. Yep and your product gets better. Yes, there's focus testing for movies and things, but the interactivity and the way that as a player, I impart myself on the games that I yep. play and the way that I play them and who I choose to play them with if it's a socially based game. I love the fact that games themselves can be so community driven. You know, we're sitting here in the same continent as Mojang with Minecraft, yep. um, which I mean, they have to manage and get to manage with a, a great community. And I think we're, we're on a journey with Sea of Thieves and the way that Rare has engaged their community and grown it. Like, and I know I get asked, hey, I didn't get in, I didn't get in, I wanna go play. You know, the team is managing their technical capability, yep. creative roadmap, um, and uh, the community at the same time. And, I, and I, we're gonna learn, we're gonna yeah. learn a ton, but I think it's absolutely the right thing for the team to be doing, and I think you're doing a really good job at it. Yeah, and, and 
You're right. It's all about learning. I think you know what we always talk about um, as leaders, but I, I think what's super important to our players is to know that our intentions are always to do the best thing for them. Yeah. Like, and we're always trying to, you know, we scale up, we invite a ton more people in. Like, if we have issues, we're testing things out so we can fix them, so we can make sure we have a great play experience. So everything we add, every feature, every every aspect of the game is all trying to make Sea of Thieves the best game it can be. And you and I have spent a lot of time, even during this trip, and thinking about how can we let more people in in a structured way that yep. makes sense given what we have, but also what we need to manage and where we need to get in terms of delivering a full AAA game experience. Yeah. And, and that's, and a, that's a balance. Yeah, and I think that's why you, you talk about like doing something new. You know, it was our intention from day one. Like I remember the first pitch, you, know, you and Kudo in the room. Dang we, Kudo. We, we should share that video one day. <laughs> Um, yeah, He's that, a bad dude. That, that first, that was the quote. We, that <laughs> that first pitch He's was, was uh, you know, we want to let players in early. And I think we all kind of looked at each other in the room and didn't really know what that meant. No. We were just like, okay, but to build this game in the way that we want to build it, we can't just do it based on our own vision and building it and then hope players will like it. We've got to bring players in along the way. And what journey. was, that's coming up on three years ago, right? Yeah, end of 2014. Yeah, so... You think about the investment that we've made with a studio the size of Rare over this amount of time to go build a real great first yeah. party new, new franchise, but yet also saying, I want, I want to engage our player base, our community, Rare fans, Xbox fans, gamers um, in a new way. And even during that time, you've seen growth in what it means to build a game that way. We've seeing games like Ark and Astroneer and, you know, the game preview program on, on Xbox and obviously PC doing really engaging communities in a different way. And I, I love seeing Rare as kind of part of the, the learning that gaming is going through. Yeah, and even the, you know, adding to that, you know, watchable content and, you know, you've got all these fantastic content creators that yeah. build, build content for their own communities and they have their own you know, almost kind of ecosystems around them of people that watch their content and are interested in the games they play. And we've, had, we've been lucky to have some come into Rare that are interested in Sea of Thieves, give us some great feedback. We're it's like, a beautiful game to watch. And the being on the ocean, landing on an island, and also, I don't know what you call it, I call it the kind of asymmetric co-op of players coming together and doing different things also means that as a viewer, there might be certain parts of what someone does that's the thing I'm really interested in, which I think opens up a ton of cool um, experience. I know you, you, the team has been spending a lot of time with the Beam team yeah, yeah, and, and thinking about unique uh, evolutions and in, in, in innovations in the space of people who want to watch in a different way than maybe you do today. Yeah. And I think that that interaction between our platform and our service and our first party studios usually leads to some pretty cool things happening. And, and I'm, I'm really encouraged by what I hear in the kind of early ideas. Yeah, and I, and I just love that notion of just how easy we're making that as well. So just that notion of streaming straight from the dashboard so, as soon as you're playing the game yeah. like is is super cool. Now, like, I know we can't do that right now because we're, we're under NDA. And I think even the note you sent me the other day is like, hey, the sunsets look beautiful. Can I can I tweet a picture of this? And you say no. And, and I say no. Um, and, it, and it's really because, you know, we, we're still adding things to the game. Like, we're still, we're still not probably quite at the point yet where we think <laughs> there's enough stuff that we... And the most we, protective of all, are always the creators. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, until we, till we feel, you know, that the experience is... Like, the experience is great, but we want it to be amazing. And yeah. then when people start sharing it and talking about but it. But, I mean, so. I also think this is a multi-year journey for us. And yeah. uh, while it has been multi-year to get to this point... Uh, and I'm encouraged by what we'll see this year. The thinking about this as a long-term growth for the franchise, uh, for Rare, and frankly, our service and platform, you have to go into it that way. Yeah, and frankly, you, you have to build your opportunity and ability to invest through that lens. It's not, how do we get to launch? It, it was a decade ago, but yeah. you, you know, it's different, different now. Different world now. So when we think about this game, and you and I go through the roadmap, this is a game that lives for multiple years in front of us. and. You have to have that approach and we're going to grow it. We're going to yeah. learn. There'll be things that we don't do as well as we wish. And there'll be areas that emerge that we had no idea people would be interested in. And we'll go chase on those things. Yep. And uh, I think that's all part of, of what we're trying to do here. Yeah. And, and, you know, we've built a great foundational capability. You know, we've been releasing weekly. We've been yeah. bringing players in. Like we, we've built a kind of platform to make sure that as we add players in, they get a great experience and it's performant and we don't have... I mean, well, and 
Sometimes it's not. Yeah. Right. We've had matchmaking issues, as and then we fix them. And that's we, right. And we move on. And so. that's part of the. And you know, thanks to the community for being along yeah. that journey with us. We want to make sure those kind of issues uh, are out of the system as much as we can yep, see. Absolutely. Um, and this community driven is is as much about. I'm probably not as much, but rare building its social and service capability as it is about the creative and those things working yeah. hand in hand um, and the technical stuff because the work you guys are doing around our new platforms and the stuff I see on it, it it's you're got, you got a lot of balls in the air yeah yeah wouldn't but have it's it. good wouldn't have it any other way but really great to have you and the team here obviously we spent a lot of time talking about the future opportunities to see if these which I'm super excited about which we won't we shouldn't talk about here because we're being filmed oh is that um, camera <laughs> But, you know, really excited about the roadmap. And it's, like I say, it's great to have the support of you and the, and the leadership team in just challenging us and challenging us to be better, but also, you know, buying into the journey and the vision we have for Sea of Thieves. Well, thanks. You know, I, I've worked with Rare since they became part of Microsoft. I was one of the early kind of people to get on the boat and come over here with the stampers. I think the first game I shipped with Rare was Star Fox on the GameCube, funny enough. Wow. Um, and then, uh, you know, being with the studio as we went through Grab by the Ghoulies and the launch games on 360, what studio does two launch games, that's crazy. Um, but they did it with Perfect Dark Zero and Cameo, uh, the Viva Pinata years. And uh, I just, I think it's been great to see Rare grow. This opportunity for me uh, to work with Greg Mails, yourself, the talented team here. Um, people have uh, a long history in gaming, a long history at Rare. Uh, to try to go do something new is absolutely the kind of risks uh, that we should be taking. Yep. And I love what we see because I think the payoff is going to delight millions of people. Uh, and it's it's going to be fun getting from where we are to the, to the yeah. final finish line. Yeah. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed what you just saw, then please like and subscribe to our channel and check out some more of our weekly videos. And if you're interested in the game's development, then click the link down here and join our Insider program for a chance to play the game early. Don't worry, I'll, I'll just wait here. <laughs>